With love, money, and emotions on the line, Kevin Costner's divorce has turned out to be a classic Hollywood courtroom drama. But just when we thought everything was settled, Kevin's ex-wife pulled an ace. Why is Christine feeling regretful over her divorce from Costner? All you gotta do is keep watching to find out. Kevin and his divorces. Hollywood's favorite heartthrob, Kevin Costner, and his leading lady since 2004, Christine Baumgartner, called it quits in 2023. Now, nearly after two decades of marriage, you'd expect there'd be some amicability in the divorce proceedings, but nope. Their divorce was a classic Hollywood divorce, filled with drama, lawyers, money, and now regrets. After tying the knot back in September 2004, Costner and Baumgartner decided to go their separate ways in April 2023, when Christine filed for divorce. Now, let's not forget that this wasn't Costner's first divorce. His previous marriage with Cindy Silva also ended rather quite messy. But hey, it wasn't all bad. Kevin and Christine did share some sweet moments together. They even welcomed three children into the world, Caden Wyatt, Hayes Logan, and Grace Avery. Costner even revealed that after his first marriage, he wasn't always keen on diving back into marrying someone, but Baumgartner managed to melt his heart. Whenever he talked about Christine, he was always warm and showed love. Back in November 2022, Kevin revealed to people that he loved what Christine brought to the table. Apparently, she made everything cozier with her charm. But unfortunately, even the power of love couldn't keep this Hollywood romance afloat. But is Kevin's love the reason why Christine now regrets filing for divorce? Well, for that, we need to go back a little further. More specifically, we need to look at their divorce timeline. And trust us, it's a bit of a doozy mess. The beginning of an end. Let's rewind to April 11th, 2023. It was the day when curtains officially closed on Kevin and Christine's nearly two decade long love story. Though the news broke in May 2023, court documents revealed that it was Baumgartner's decision to file for divorce. Can you guess the reasons? Well, according to her, some irreconcilable differences were causing her to split with Kevin. Then on May 1st, 2023, the news officially broke. Costner's rep somberly reported and cited circumstances beyond his control as the reason for the split. Cue the heart-wrenching sighs. After that, it was only due time that both filed for custody of their kids, so both parties stepped into the ring and demanded joint custody of their precious trio. Up till here, we all believe that, hey, at least they're keeping it civil, right? How misinformed we were. After all, they're a Hollywood couple. Of course, there was a prenup. It didn't take much time until Costner's legal eagles came in with mentions of a prenup. This document covered everything from spousal support to who gets to keep the jewelry and all. And let's not forget about those separate property residences. At this point, we all realized that this breakup was about to get real estate spicy. Fascinatingly, and just for reference, did you know Costner's last marriage reportedly came with an $80 million price tag? You got that right. So by now it became a battle of how much and when. More money, more mess. On June 14th, 2023, things took a drastic turn towards becoming a tad bit messier. Turns out, as reported by TMZ, Costner claimed that Baumgartner had overstayed her welcome in their shared house. After filing the divorce, she had a 30-day eviction notice to evacuate the house. And, well, according to Costner, she didn't. Now that Costner had played his card, it was Christine's turn. Any guesses what she did? Yep, Baumgartner decided to hit Costner right where it would hurt him. She claimed that she won't leave until Kevin coughed up some serious cash. According to people's sources, by then Costner had already handed over $1 million, which, get this, was way more than their prenup agreement. Since it looked like Costner wanted to get out of this mess swiftly, he agreed to pay an additional $10,000 for moving expenses and $30,000 monthly for a rental pad. If that's not a Hollywood settlement, we don't know what is. But unfortunately, Baumgartner decided to get a little more greedy. On June 16th, 2023, she pulled out all the stops and she filed a claim firing back for a mind-boggling $248,000 per month in child support. She knew what cards to play and when, and she did it unhesitatingly. 
According to court documents that were acquired by people, Baumgartner claimed that all of this money would be used to maintain their kids' lavish lifestyle. From private school tuition to exotic vacations, Christine didn't hold back. And get this, by this time, Costner's attorneys had already dished out $38,000 a month in child support. Not only this, they had also agreed that Kevin would cover all costs, including private school fees, health insurance, and more. Do you think that Costner would agree to pay $248,000 to Christine for child support? Hmm, not really. Costner decided that if it was going to get all messy, he was going to go all in too. Their divorce was definitely a courtroom showdown worthy of its own reality TV series. The Case of Child Support Come June 28, 2023, things started to get more heated up. Costner came out slamming Baumgartner's request for $248,000 per month in child support as highly inflated and unsubstantiated. Court documents revealed Costner's counteroffer was $123,620 based on his gross cash flow. But the drama didn't stop there. Just a week later, Costner upped the ante. He revised his offer for child support. Now he was willing to offer $51,940 per month only. But Baumgartner was not having it. She put her legal team to work and they fired back. Her legal team called Costner's offer completely inappropriate and accused him of expecting their children to live below their means while he enjoys a luxurious lifestyle. At this point, it looked like no one was going to get their way. So on July 12, 2023, the judge extended Costner's temporary monthly payments to $129,755. But wait, it wasn't over yet. Costner's lawyers were also shut down. The judge called all stops and instructed them that the child support matter would not be settled before the trial. Fast forward to August 31st, 2023, the day of the child support hearing, and believe it or not, Baumgartner brought all the waterworks to the courtroom. She shed tears as she painted a picture of her children's lavish lifestyle. She argued that living large was in their DNA, and there was no way she was willing to compromise on that. Finally, on September 1st, 2023, the verdict came in. Costner was ordered to give $63,209 per month in child support, and the deal was sealed after a nail-biting two-day hearing.